Hi, my name is EJ Massa. A couple years ago, I saw a Netflix documentary called Barbecue, which featured a bunch of people around the world uh, barbecuing. I know what you're thinking. EJ Massa, after you're done making barbecue videos, do you just sit around all day watching barbecue videos? Don't you have a family? Quit asking so many rude questions. Yes, I do watch barbecue videos when I'm not barbecuing. And in this barbecue video, there was a scene where there was a bunch of Swedish people in the park barbecuing on disposable grills. And I thought, boy, those Swedes are lazy. Why couldn't they just drag their Weber Summit charcoal grills to the park like real men? But I also thought, I wonder how those things cook. And it just so happens, one of my fans, Air Joe, he sent me, uh... He sent me this, Cassis Grill Instant Grill. You can tell it's good for the environment because it's covered in earth tones and has a green leaf. If your product you're buying has a green leaf, congratulations, you saved the earth. What's interesting about this disposable grill, unlike the ones the Swedes are using in the aluminum foil pan, this one says it has no iron or aluminum. Reduce CO2 emissions, eco-friendly, biodegradable, basically saving the planet. I feel good about myself already. It makes up for all the things I've done. The back tells you more about sustainability. It says you can get 60 minutes of cook time, which seems pretty good. Opening up the package and wow, it really is made out of cardboard. They should partner up with Nintendo. You know, they have those Nintendo Labo things. They should make this grill a Labo. Slide your switch into like there and cook your switch low and slow. It's the only way I can get my Joy-Cons to fall off the bone. Wait, why does my Nintendo Switch have so many bones? You got lots of cardboard pieces and instructions. Luckily, you can follow along with just pictures, much like an Ikea instruction manual. So they can sell it to the Swedes. Assembly was pretty easy. You make a little bed frame for the grill basket, pull out the tabs on the grill basket, slide that into the frame, and that's pretty much it. And you got this grill grate made out of bamboo, which sounds strange and dangerous. Actually, now that I think about it, I paid attention in science class. Cardboard and wood are more flammable than metal. I read that in a science book. I'm putting a lot of trust into this white foam stuff. The directions say to light each corner with a match and wait for five minutes. And immediately I got the stench of some sort of fire propellant. It says ready in five minutes, but I gave it 10 or so to hopefully burn off some of that fumy lighter fluid that this must be soaked in. And soon all the coals were white and hot. All right, bamboo grate in place and nothing is bursting into flames. With the coals hot, let me show you what I'm gonna cook. I've got two bone-in pork chops. Usually when I review things, I make ribs and well, that's a rib right here, right? It counts. I'll season them simply with kosher salt, garlic powder, fresh ground pepper, and some paprika, making sure to season both sides. Beautiful. Place them on this bamboo grill grate thing. This feels so wrong. I'll give them about five minutes aside, and then I'll check the temp. Flip them over and wow, they look really good. Definitely seems like it has an even heat. I think, maybe, this might be a grill. Just for fun, I wanted to see if the underside was all that hot. And while I can definitely feel heat, it seems like whatever that foam stuff is, it's a good insulator. So I'm not worried about too much heat being on my table. After five more minutes, it seems like the chops are around 140 degrees Fahrenheit. So I decided to paint them with a little barbecue sauce just to give them a tad more sweetness. Just let that caramelize on each side for 30 seconds or so. And I took them off the flame. And there we go, perfectly cooked pork chops on a cardboard grill. Who would have thought? Cut them open and, yep, they look cooked and juicy. Let's see how this is, pork chop made with that eco grill. No, that smell, the lighter fluid, definitely comes out and goes onto the pork chop, whatever that propellant, uh, the, whatever that lighter fluid is that's soaked on those briquettes, I still taste that. You know, the pork chop itself was actually, it was pretty good, it was juicy. It, um, the paprika taste was good and, and stuff like that, but I, I couldn't get past the lighter fluid taste. I'm probably a lot more sensitive to lighter fluid tastes because I never use it with my charcoal and I never use like match light charcoal. 
And actually, you know, the pork chop was pretty good. I mean, you know, it's seasoned well, it's juicy. And after the first couple bites, I got over the, the lighter fluid taste. I could barely taste it, but it took me a while to get over that hurdle. Personally, I don't like the experience of getting over that hurdle. It kind of reminds me of my childhood when you'd go to the park and there'd be like, like one of these things and your family would dump a bag of match light charcoal into it and, and then cook some hamburgers on it and then all the hamburgers would taste like match light charcoal. Kind of like that sort of thing. I will say I do like the concept of just having a lightweight disposable grill that you can throw into your backpack, go on a picnic somewhere, and not really feel all that bad about throwing it away. And this one gives me way less of a creepy vibe than the one sold in foil pans. Me personally, I'd rather, you know, hell, I'd bring that briefcase grill that I reviewed a little while back, but I'd bring my own charcoal that didn't taste like lighter fluid. I did check back on the grill 45 minutes later and it was still going strong. So that 60 minute grill time seems accurate. And I'll also confirm that yes, you can throw it directly into the trash. And then I take it to the trash. This is a demonstration. I'm impressed that it works. I'm impressed with the design. And you know, if you're looking for a disposable grill, it might not be a bad way to go, really. So if I'm just reviewing it in the category of disposable grills, it's a great one. This will cost you around 20 bucks and it just so happens I got a Jumbo Joe at Target for 20 bucks, so I'd rather spend my money there. Yeah, it's a bit bulkier than this, but let's be real. I'm not gonna be hiking. I'm not going on a picnic. I'm just gonna be cooking hot dogs in my Weber and drinking cheap whiskey under the bridge. That's where you'll find me. Tell me what you think. Have you used a disposable grill like the Swedes? Do they make all your food taste like lighter fluid? How do you feel about them? Would you rather use a Smoky Joe? Tell me in the comments below. Until next time, bye.